Welcome to this screencast about Grand.org and its features to voice an organ. We will start by opening a sample set and we will discuss a bit about the tuning. When you open a set it will normally start as um, original temperament or the audio files, the samples as they are on the hard drive. Um, and in this case, for instance, we will hear that the C2 is out of tune. And uh, with this sample set, the pitch, the information about the pitch of a sample is embedded in the file. So if you select a temperament, everything should be tuned correctly now and we will see and it works uh, in the old days this feature didn't exist so the sample set producers tuned the samples uh, directly in the editing process uh, this is something I don't do anymore since I think that everything you do to an audio file after recording will degrade it to some degree. And I like to keep it as original as possible. So it's very nice to have this feature to embed the information instead and then correct the tuning by selecting a temperament. But if um, it's not tuned properly, you can correct it manually instead. If you go into organ settings and select the stop and the pipe that you want to change, you can go in and change the tuning here and it's in cents. So this should work about nine cents higher and then you hit the apply and we will listen. No, of course. What was wrong? Yes, we had a temperament already selected. Uh, so the tuning already w was in uh, place actually. Now with the original temperament, um, it should be correct. and we already had a have it tuned 9 cents high so it will be pretty okay if you wish to re restore the default values you can always do that and this is how it sounded originally and we can overdo it just to see and um, you can go up pretty high it's an octave actually um and always you can hit the default to return you can also select to increase or decrease the volume of a sample uh, that is called voicing and uh, you do it to get an approximately equal uh, feeling of the volume of each note and um, we can try to increase the value quite a lot um, and hit apply and it's very much stronger or we can decrease the value and we can always return to the default values instead and now um, I would like to point out once again that um, here you have the option to select ignore pitch info and this you can use if 
the sample set producer didn't put in the the pitch info into the files um, and you wish to use the the temperament feature you will have to select this uh, to have it react the proper way um, but again this depends on if the sample set producer did put that info in the files or not you will uh, actually we can load a set and you will hear what it's uh, what it will sound like if um, if it's not present um, we will select one of my old sets <coughs> And this set was produced in the time where the only option was to tune the samples uh, in the audio editor. And uh, it's approximately equal temperament. And I first configure it a little. And uh, we will see that I select a few stops. And try to change the temperament. And what will happen? Oh. Interesting. But it was not what was intended really. Uh, and this is due to that there is no pitch info in the files. So into the organ settings, ignore pitch info, OK. And now it should be possible um, to also change temperament and have it working as it should. Let's try uh, E major as that won't work really. tone. So now you have a demonstration of this nice feature of Grand Org. Thanks for watching. <laughs>